Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet which says that there are six participants in three races: hundred meter, two hundred meter, and four hundred meter races. Some information is given about their performance in the three races. Okay. Now, few couple of information like no two players ended. any of the races at the same time hence they got distinct rank in particular race so there are six players first is ranked first reaches first and the last person is ranked sixth so basically the ranks are 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> easy to understand similarly each person got a distinct rank in her three performances so all three races will have different ranks and also the numerical sum of the ranks of each player is distinct so sum of the ranks is distinct so these are the two things so we will have to make a table making 100 meter 200 meter 400 meter and then we will have sum of ranks and we have six participants and we can use their initial names h i j k l m okay now while solving this set we will execute the easiest of the statements first which gives some direct information like if you read this statement the only person who reached earlier than both jwala and uh, lily it is something cry cryptic okay in all three races exactly one of jwala and lily finished before ishita again no information we can achieve from it ishita's rank in 200 meter race is second so clear cut statement her rank is second in 200 meter whereas lily did not finish second in any race so lily will not come second in any race done the sum of ranks in three races for kriti and meenal are 13 and 12 respectively So there are sum of ranks is thirteen and twelve respectively. Meenal didn't finish among the last two in the four hundred meter race. Didn't finish among the last two. So basically, five and six is not possible. So the rank is one to four for Meenal, and the same is true for Kriti. So their ranks will be between one to four in these two races. This race, okay. So they will not finish in the last two. That is what is given. okay so easy statements to execute the last statement says the sum of ranks is higher for lily as compared to ishita okay so suppose ishita the total is x and lily the total is y so higher for lily so y is greater than x right so these are easier statements now we have two statements left and those two need to be read carefully if you understand that you will be able to solve the set if you do not understand the inference behind those then you are gone in this set so this is in all three races exactly one of jwala and lily finished before ishita so these are three participants and one of jwala and lily will finish ahead of ishita so that means let us say in a race jwala is finishing ahead of ishita so lily will finish behind her now this dot implies that there can be other participants also or it is also possible that lily is finishing ahead of ishita and jwala is finishing after ishita okay so one is finishing before right and another will finish after one will finish before one will finish after now what does this imply what is the logic behind it the numerical logic this means ishita is not first or last so ishita can't be first can't be last because she is in between these two racers so that means ishita cannot get rank 1 ishita cannot get rank 6 in any of the races now if you have understood this then it is a powerful thing to use and in the subsequent conditions then we are left with only one condition which says that the only person who reached earlier than both jwala and lily there is only person who reached earlier than both jwala and lily in the 100 meter race so let us fix to this part and we will then read the second part okay so jwala and lily are participating in the race let us say their ranks are x and y 
okay in the 100 meter race their ranks are x and y so they will have different ranks of course no one cannot have uh, two people cannot have the same rank now there is one person who is finishing earlier than both of them there is only person that means that person will have rank as one okay so let us say the person is uh let's say the person is p the person p will have rank one in the 100 meter race now another thing to understand is very important thing to understand that person is having rank one it also means there is only one person who is ahead of both jwala and lily so that means one of jwala and lily should have rank two why p has rank one let us say if someone else has rank 2, let us say Q has rank 2, right? So that means Jwala and Lily are XY. So there are two persons, it is saying only person earlier than both Jwala and Lily. So if there is another person, then there will be two persons. We will not have the case of only person ahead of them, right? So one of Jwala and Lily will have rank 2, right? One of them will have rank 2, someone will have some other rank, okay? Now we will fill this first race. That is Jwala and Lily, one of them will have rank 2. So Lily cannot get rank 2. So that means Jwala will have rank 2 in this race. Lily, we do not know the rank. Now coming to the second half of it is also the only person who reached after these two in the 200 meter race. Now the same condition, Jwala and Lily are there. They have some ranks and this person is P is only person after these two. So that means the person should be rank 6. If there is some other rank, let us say the person is rank 5. So let us say there is some person Q will rank 6. So there will be more than one person. Okay. So that person should be rank 6 in <coughs> 200 meter race. Okay. So P will be in 100 meter race will be ranked first. The person P in 200 meter race will rank 6. Simultaneously, there is one more condition that Jwala and Lily, one of them will have rank 5. If they do not have rank 5, let us say they have rank 4, then there will be some other person R who might have rank 5. So there will be two people. So this was the meaning of this statement, which was the most difficult statement to interpret. So I hope through this explanation, this statement is clear. The logic, the numerical logic that you derive from it. Okay, so one of Jwala and Lily will finish fifth and P will have sixth rank, right, in 200 meters. Now let us figure out who is that person P. Now, if you say Ishita cannot be that person, right, Ishita is ruled out. Kriti and Meenal, right, let us think of Kriti and Meenal. Lila, uh, Lily is also not of them because that is Jwala and Lily we are comparing. Now, if you consider Kriti as this person, let us take this case. So if you give one rank, six rank, so you will have to give six, which is not possible because Kriti can be max one to four. So Kriti cannot be this person. If you give one and six to Meenal, her rank in the third race should be five, which is again not possible because she has to be in the top four. So we can easily determine now that person P is Haina. So Hina has run and rank 6 over here. Okay. Now, we have uh, figured out Hina. We have figured out that one of Jwala and Lily will have rank 5 over here. Now, the next thing is, uh, we know that uh, like these two people have to have total of 13 and 12. Right. Now, 13 and 12 and None of them, see in this race, second race, Jwala and Lily, one of them will have rank 5. So let us say Jwala is rank 5 or Lily is rank 5. Okay, so it, it means that one of them will have rank 5. Now, these two people cannot be in rank 5 here also, rank 5 or 6 because 6 is by Hina and 5 is one out of these two. So their ranks are between 1 to 4, 1 to 4. Now, what is the maximum rank Kriti can have in these two races? So, if you look at Kriti, she can be between 1 to 4 in these two races and Meenal can also be in 1 to 4 in these two races. So, maximum Kriti can have in these two races is 4 plus 3. 
in any order right 4 plus 3 that is highest can be 7 now she needs to get 6 to make it 13 so that means she will have 3 or 4 4 or 3 okay that's how she can make 13 now coming to menal menal also has to score 13, 12 now she cannot be 6 so she can only be 5 3 4 okay because 3 and 4 are the only highest possible values so she will be 5 4 3 i mean one of them will be third one of them will be fourth in these two races so that's how she can get a total of 12 ranks okay so that is the only way she can achieve the total 12 so we are done with this thing as well okay now comes the ranks of uh, the remaining two people 1 2 3 and 4 are the missing ranks in this okay now coming to this part ishita is between joala and lily joala is 2 right ishita has to be between so ishita will be 3 lily will be 4 okay so this 100 meter is done now uh, ishita is between joala and lily okay and uh, one of them will be what is the other rank 5 and 1 so let us put the other rank that is 1 and 5 now let's talk about the final race that is 400 meter race okay so we have filled this joala and lily now we have to put uh, the ranks here 1 uh, 3 and 4 are done 1 2 5 and 6 are remaining in this okay 1 2 5 and 6 now ishita cannot be 2 okay ishita cannot be 2 Ishita cannot be 2, okay. Ishita cannot be 1 or 6. So, 1, 2, 6 are ruled out. Ishita is 5. So, her total is 10. Right? So, it should be, total should be greater than 10. Now, this 5 is done. Now, we are left with 1, 2 and 6, okay. 1, 2 and 6. Now, this person cannot be 6. This person cannot be 1. So, this person has to be 2 and her total is 9. Okay, so this is also done. 1 and 6 remain. Okay. Now, suppose we put Jwala as 6. Suppose we take Jwala as 6 and Lily as 1. Okay. So, if we put 6 and 1, so in that case, uh, it is 1. So, it has to be 5. So, this total will come as 10, which is not possible because it has to be greater than 10. So, we will reverse the numbers instead of 6 and 1. We will have 1 and 6. So, if we have put 1 and 6, now this total, now this person is first here, Jwala is first here, so will be fifth here, and in this case, Lily will be first in this race. Now, the total for Jwala is 8, the total for Lily is 11. This condition is satisfied, right, and the unique condition is also satisfied. So, all conditions satisfied, this is our final solution. Now let us look at the questions. What is the sum of ranks for Ishita? So Ishita the sum of ranks is 10. Did not get 6th rank in any of the races. So we have H, K and L. They got 6th rank. So that means Miller did not get 6th rank in any of the races. Least sum of ranks is 8. Lily is ranked in 200 meter race. So 200 meter race, Lily is ranked first. First rank in the 400 meter race is by Jwala. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved the approach of solving this question. So please don't forget to like this video.